Welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download population data sets of any country in the world from WorldPop. So you could navigate to worldpop.org or hub.worldpop.org. World as in world and pop as in pop.org. I already have my open here so on your home page click on data on the data page you find out that there are a lot of data sets which you could use here for analysis if you're interested in this video for population you could get population counts population density and population weighted density feel free to go through each of them to consider which is of interest to you but if you have to work with just population head counts then you could click on this population counts this is the population density data sets and the population weighted density so for population counts there are different methods of collection we have the constrained individual countries at 100 meter resolution. We have the constrained UN adjusted at same resolution. We have the unconstrained for the same data and all of that. The major difference between the constrained and the unconstrained is that the constrained, the constrained takes into cognizance of the built up areas while the unconstrained just gets the population count of course it's population prediction estimation rather so the constraint takes into cognizance of the built up areas like we see in this situation the republic of congo you see the map of the built up area where my cursor is the first map the first insert map and then for the unconstrained the population count is given as in general while for the constrained it is restricted to just the regions of those built up areas so you could feel free to read more about it i'll drop a link in the description if you can't navigate it on the world pop website so we are going to population counts right yeah so preferably i work with the un adjusted it's also worth noting that the constraint like the data i downloaded for nigeria you find it at about 50 plus nb and for the unconstrained you have it over 400 nb so it's way larger so when you click on prefer the UN adjusted when it loads up you can either use the search bar here to find your country Nigeria fine data and source data and resource here you can find references if you want if you're writing the paper to reference the data set and then you can also find write-ups to include in your data source when you are done with moving around you click on the download data now if you're working with QGIS to visualize your data sets simply um, load this in using the data source manager you can also check the description for a detailed video on how to imports raster files you import it as a raster file we we'll click on the data source manager quickly raster file and then check through your directory to find your file where it is saved click on add and close originally okay let's just do that because i have touched this a bit 
add the game because now this is the original data set which was downloaded you could use your identify tool to um, find out information on the data set click on identify you can use it to explore the different pixels in the data each pixel the raster file is made up of only one band and each pixel you click on remember it's a hundred meter resolution so it's giving you the population in the within the nearest hundred square meters so it varies across the data sets as you can see here some of them no data some when you zoom in so you could use this to explore to explore it even further you could perform zonal analysis on your data set you can also work on the colors like you see in this one click on the layer layer styling on the layer styling panel it is it is set to a single band you can change it to pseudo color and there you have it you can adjust the color ramps you can reclassify them into three classes only you can adjust the legend settings to make sure that it goes from minimum to the top not otherwise so you can always play around with it thank you for watching and see you in the next video